Hey guys, what's going on? It's Corey from Crypto Crypt again. It's been a little while. Uh, I figured I'd take a nice walk outside since it's beautiful as you can tell. This video is going to be all about how to fix an issue with the Zencash wallet. Have you guys ran into this issue? Yeah, me too. It's uh, pretty frustrating. It's almost like opening up your real wallet in real life and trying to use your ATM card and then you get not like a uh, un insufficient funds error, but you get like a random error 101 or something that pops up that would probably never happen, but I just imagine if that happened to you and all of a sudden you couldn't access your funds, I'm sure you'd be a little bit upset. So I'm making that this video for anybody like yourselves or like me who ran into this issue and are hoping to solve it relatively hassle-free. Um, so just follow along and you should be able to get your access to your Zencash wallet again. So first off, you gotta get into your uh, command prompt, guys. So you're gonna wanna go hit, uh, go into the windows, hit CMD, enter or click on the little uh, command window. And then you're gonna have to get into your directory where your Zencash wallet is stored. So you're gonna wanna push uh, essentially what I'm writing here on the screen and whatever your directory is, you can search for it using uh, this way down below here. Essentially, you just look for the folder, find it, and then you can right, uh, right click copy the path that it's in, and then move it over to, and then copy and paste it after in your tra uh, command window. So essentially, what you wanna do is you wanna hit CD, space and then paste whatever you've copied from your directory or from wherever your file is stored your wallet and then it's going to open up or not open it's going to show you you're you're in that correct location or you're in that location then you're going to type this down below uh, i don't remember the command but that's going to allow you to go through and it seems like it, what it's doing is it, it updates the the node uh, re-indexes the node uh, so that any issues that would have been there, you can kind of re-upload it. So before you do anything, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to copy a, make a copy of your .exe file for your Zencash wallet, or at least just make a backup of your file. If you don't know how to do that, um, just message me down below, or I'll leave a link to a video of how to do that. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty easy. You just wanna make sure to copy and put that in a safe file location. And yeah, you should be good. So after a few hours, it should look something like this. Uh, as you can see here, it took quite, quite a long time. So just uh, follow along and you should be able to get that up and running. Guys, if this helped at all, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. And uh, make sure to share if, if you have somebody else with a Zen wallet that is having trouble getting onto their funds. Apparently it is known the core developers are working on a fix. So if you don't feel like going through these steps, you probably won't need to. But just for now, if you do want to access your Zen, uh, this should work. So yeah, thanks a lot guys. See you next time. It seems like Zencash is really quick on fixing any of their issues. I just watched their live stream yesterday. If you want to check it out, just hit, hit the, the link down below. It should be in the description. But it seems like they fished the, uh, fixed this issue already. The, uh, they've updated the wallet. You may not have the update live uh, at the time of watching this, uh, depending on how soon you've seen it. But their, on, their update is on the way. And if you're in a rush to get access to your funds, you can do the up, update, I believe, through their GitHub. Uh, there will be a full-fledged update coming, according to the Zencash team. So you could just wait on that if you're not in a rush to uh, get out of your Zencash or do something with your Zencash rather. So yeah, uh, this example or this uh, re-indexing was I guess kind of pointless because it only worked for uh, a few seconds. Or sorry, it only worked for the first opening of the wallet. Once I closed the wallet again, it no longer worked. So their update is definitely well welcomed and I, I can't wait to, for it to, to go live because. I'm just going to wait for it to go live. This should be uh, live anytime. Uh, the way you'll know that it's live or you got a new update uh, from what I can tell because they're, they're updating their logo to their new uh, redesigned logo. So that'll be pretty cool. 
and they should uh, have the functionality back into the Swing Wallet. So, see you guys next time. Hopefully you got a little something out of this. Take it easy.